Hello everybody, welcome back to this series on Absolver. We are uh, pretty much right where we left off. It's the same place in the world. Uh, but I took a small break to uh, do some other stuff. Now, we are currently in the Eurasian Quarter. It is the only place in the world, by the way, sweet looking mask, it is the only place in the world where there is no mark. Like, no boss. There's no marked one here. The only things you're going to be doing here involve finding cairns and finding moves. It's an exploratory type of thing. And it's also supposed to... Well, it, it does have its own important reasons for existing. And I'll, I'll get to that in a second. I'll show you who, uh, who is the important one in just a minute. But before we get going... We got some people to punch in the face. Alright, let's see if I remember all the different moves I had. Okay, if at all possible, if y'all could take it easy on me for just a minute. While I relearn my attacks, my moves, and all the rest of it. That would be ideal. Okay, no need. I'm a pro again. It's totally fine. So, in this area, because there's no marked one, we end up having not one, not two, not three, but four different cairns that we want to find. That's the first one, and it involves us having a pretty sweet looking shirt, which is largely strictly better than the other one. It also looks rad as heck, so we're putting it on. I don't know why I keep saying that. The more I think about it, I think I'm just a product of when I grew up. You know, the 90s. So every time I see something, oh, it's radical! But there's so many other people that were born in the 90s that don't use the word radical anymore except for to talk about people who are on the extreme end of a thing. No, this is not a treasure chest. You are wrong. That's a completely different box for a completely different reason. Not that reason either. Get that stinky reason out of your head. You're wrong. Anyway. I don't know why I say radical as much as I do in this Let's Play, and I am a little sorry about that, but hopefully it's not too grating. I'll do my best to stop saying it as much. Uh, no, you don't get to do that. No, you don't get to do that either. You get to die instead, you sucker. Alright, we're gonna get to all of that in a minute, okay? For now, I'm just exploring this area. This area is very nice. Okay, it's a nice area full of nice people. If I remember correctly, this leads back to the harbor area. Just want to double check. It do. Remember the central harbor? Like I said before, there's a there's a couple of interlinking areas. Uh, no, Dor Dwyron Andrew, we are not going to see you today. So there we're going to be here in, with uh, Lycan Lugaru, which is effectively saying werewolf twice. Once in one language, and once in another dead in, in another deader language. Oh, it's this guy again. Hello. The lost prospects you will meet have been roaming Roslan, the place we're in, for a long time. Okay. Their gear will usually be worn and torn. To acquire better equipment, you should compete against other prospects and absolvers. And by that, it means the PvP. We'll get to that in a like that hot topic's gotta wait another couple like maybe the end of this episode if we're fast which we should be so we're gonna walk around here you might have been noticing there's a lot of people statues all over the place this guy's not a statue so we're gonna talk to him this is the first time we meet I always remember prospects even under their masks if you have built an interesting combat deck you should create a school out of it and share your wisdom now it's too early though progress in the combat trials first Come back to me when you are ready, and I'll show you how to become a mentor. This guy teaches you how to make schools. I'll be working on my statues until then. Oh, so you're the one that made all the statues. I already knew that, but the viewers might not have. Anyway, so you can come to him to make a school, and the schools are how people end up having those moments where it's like, I am a part of the Drunken Master School. I'm a part of this guy's school. And then they have all these cool move lists and everything. And now we've got a cool set of pants. It's the sweetest set of pants I could ever possibly want to own. With that mentioned, however, they could probably stand to have some, some stronger glerves of some kind. These Orangle armbands are actually pretty good, oddly enough. Yeah, uh, you know what? We're, we're pretty okay as far as our gear is concerned. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. Let's continue. 
I really like the uh, heavy cloth influence we got going on, you know? So hop off here as it's fastest. It gives us a quick stop off here. So we've had two Karens. We got two more to go. This is the only area with four of them, so. And it's also the only area where you can make a school. That guy only hangs around here to make statues. No, no, I'm expecting a bad guy. This one specifically. Get slapped. Oh, you, th oh, what? The, okay, the camera angles are going bananas and the stairs are not helping. Neither's the lag. We get to back off. No, that means this. Thank you. This lag is insane. But it is a part of the game, so let's continue to show it off for what it is. I mean, eventually we got the kill, but whoever else is in this area has, like, the world's worst internet connection. I'm not looking forward to if he's a jerk or not. All right. Now let's begin. This place here is kind of like a trial by combat sort of area. You walk up the building, and there's like two buildings with a bunch of bridges in between them. Usually the bad guys in here tend to be pretty tough, but they're not impossible by any stretch. I don't remember if there's anything else here. Hold on, I'm going to do something now. Goodbye. <laughs> Reasons to use shockwave. Oh, no, that's bad. Let's try to punch this guy off a ledge. He's not off the ledge. Can't help but notice he's still alive, even. That's fine. We should be able to deal with him. He's a windfall user. And I'm not worried about it in the least. Okay, this guy's one of the cult guys that tends to have a good time. And I know that in Northern Lions, uh, let's look at. He said that these guys were uh, pretty tough for him. The thing is, I've had practice. They're not so bad, honestly. Get slapped. Slaps, slaps, back off. Okay, get some stamina, get ready to defend. You're in that situation now. Or am I? Oh, shit. Oh, no, wait, I'm good, I'm good. Hold on, watch this. Slap, he's got not a lot of life left. Shield broken, smack, smack, smack. For free, and he's done. So why did I come down here? What was the point? I'm not sure if there really was one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there wasn't one. Don't worry about me. I might be a little bit screwy in the head, but I'm fine. Really, I promise. Oh, you thought that I didn't see that attack coming? Excuse me? That's right. You thought you had me. You were... Correct? Not correct for long enough to stay alive, it seems. That's totally fine by me. So we're on to the last cairn here. The last item. Uh, is it up one more floor? I think it's up one more floor. We go up. And then across. And there it is. Okay, good stuff. Now, we're not really going to use a lot of the gear from those cairns. And we're done with this area, pretty much. You've seen everything that there needs to be, you know, seen. All the different Cairns, the teacher. The teacher pops up in different places, but he's usually easy enough to find. And then these two buildings. Honestly, it's a really cool looking area, but there's not a lot in it outside of those items, so... Off we go, I guess. And, considering how far along we are in the game, we've only got one last stop to make. The Tower of Adal. It's the last place. So, with that said, there's the one last marked one, one last boss, and three more cairns in there. Also, probably the coolest transition between areas. Not only is it super long, but then on top of that you have this really wicked sweet bridge. Which is just great. Like, I love that they have this kind of environment in the game. It's a very... It's an atmospheric game when you think about it. Like, it's got this... I mean, it's a dead world, 100%, but it's not oppressive like Dark Souls. It's a it's a very calming kind of place to be, I find. Bright colors, sunsets, and although it's, you're surrounded by ruins, there's a certain, um, 
there's a certain unique greatness to it all, but... Speaking of which, look at this. Isn't this act of a view? So if you do the marked ones in order, you're greeted with this as a view. It's pretty fantastic. We've already got our first cairn of the area, which is fine. Let's go ahead and uh, start kicking some face in, shall we? You are going to start with one of those attacks? Oops. Oh, I thought you were doing an attack. You don't know. I want my stamina back. Thank you. Alright, what up? Oh, need of the chest? Why will this man not attack me is the question. I will double uppercut him. And he does not even come close to attacking me. I don't understand. Maybe he was trying to play a pacifist run? Oh, wait, he was an actual NPC. Oh, look at me, being smart and stuff. Now, because we haven't beaten the final boss yet, uh, there isn't a person here who should be here, or in one of other couple of areas that we saw, but the person wasn't in. Um, and he's a, he's an optional seventh marked one that you would need to normally get to the Drunken Master School. We will fight him. We will fight him at the end of all this. This, I promise you. All right, so you might remember this altar from last time when we came uh, after the twin bosses. We immediately left out this way. This time we're actually going into the place. Through the main entrance, which is uh, over here. It's kind of an offshoot, really, uh, as far as um, areas are concerned. And we're actually going to check out all the Cairns first before fighting Dormek, the, uh, the marked one of the area. Reason being, I can probably use the loot, the experience, and a little bit of a... a little bit of stat points, you know? Oh, you're... What is this craziness? Get off. Is dead. Good stuff. Try to do a wallop blow. Will not succeed. And we'll get cut up instead. Fantastic. Alright, so here's our first cairn. Fangly Noble Pants. I remember them being pretty sweet, but we're going to stick with our uh, much sweeter Shabu Guard Pants that we picked up recently. Okay, so that's one dead. Uh oh. Do not spam attacks. What have I taught myself? Don't spam defensive options against computer controlled opponents either. Why will you not get hit? Why am I having such a hard time hitting people? Oh, it's lag. There's another one dead. Oh, this is absurd. Please get off. You're not dead? Pardon? <laughs> he lived through that fall? Oh, someone else is down there and killing them for me. Thank you. How about you continue doing that for me? I managed to make bad guys rain upon him, and that's okay as far as I'm concerned. We're gonna go the long way so that we can drop by the altar again. Get some HP back. Falcon attack. Other attack is fine. That is not the attack you want to lead with. Oh shit. Well, we're likely to die here. Because unfortunately, I'm stuck in a corner against three people and it kind of blows. Okay, hold on. We might have a snowball's chance in hell if I land a couple of healing attacks. Stop dodging my attacks, you jerks. Thank you. Never mind, we're back in this. Best heals we've had all game. This entire let's play, bar none. Okay, what do you got for me? What have you got for me? Knee of the spleen! Double uppercut into Mawashi, into knee kick, into... Oh, that did not work. It is impossible to predict the leg. Oh, no. Thank you for dying. Much appreciated. The fact that we didn't die there, by the way, very surprising. Who are you? The marked gate is down this path. It knows your deeds and cannot be cheated. Find your marks and defeat them, otherwise the gate will remain shut. That's... That's great for you. <laughs> Does it look like I care? Or, hold on a second, I need to check something. Just, just a little fast. No, no, no big deal. Yeah, okay, we are recording, it's just, uh... Things got a little strange. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. I don't have 
to be angry. This is nice. I don't like being angry. Okay. Never mind. Back, like, you know, back to the napkin baseball uh, insider information right there. We got ourselves a sweet belt. Okay. Hello, Dormek. She has moves that we've never seen before. And she's going to be laggy as heck, so I'm not looking forward to this fight at all. Caught you on the flip side. Nice. Okay, back off. Get your, get your stand back. It's all good. Elbow push. Where did that come from? Thanks for dying. Okay, now it's just you. We got a ton of HP, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to summon my sword for the first time all round. Alright, so now that we got the sword summoned... Every time that she blocks an attack... She actually will take damage instead. And you'll notice that there's like an HP bar next to my sword's icon. That's its durability. That durability, if it reaches zero, will break my sword. Oh, you think you can stop this? What, you got all your HP back? Pardon? The lag just killed us. Hold on. We still have a snowball's chance in hell, but we gotta land a bunch of healing attacks. Okay, so far so good. Let's try that again. So far so good. Juked. Juked again. We got most of our HP back and dealt a good amount of it back as well, which is nice. Oh, don't do that. Don't, don't try to cult block that business. It's just not gonna work. Okay. Nice block me. That was a bad block. Bad. Okay, back off. Get some more heals. Okay, this is a little risky. Punch. We got the kill instead. We went through a twice-sized life bar and managed. I feel pretty great about myself. Okay, let's do some equipment. So equipment-wise, this is great for us and doesn't cost us anything in the weight department, really. So I guess we're equipping it. Um, Pants-wise, there's not really much else I'd rather take. Ceremonial pants look pretty great. Honestly, they do. But we by no means need them. Yeah, no. And you know what? It's about time. Let's go back to basics, I think. We could go back to uh, like a basic mask, but I'm thinking, you know what? We start with bullet. We start with bulletkin. We will end with bulletkin. Uh, with that in mind, let's uh, swap out enough stuff that we go back to having normal everything. I think. Yeah, there we go. Look at this. Look at this pretty boy. We got a bulletkin hat. We got an oration scarf. We got a sweet belt. Let's go. Oh, and you might be asking, what about the third thing? Well, here it is. Fangly Noble Shoes. Um, we're going to keep our current shoes. And like I said in the very first episode, the entire game is about killing people to open a big great door, like in the first tutorial section. I'll be honest, I don't know what you expected. I, I'll be 100% honest, I don't know what you expected. So, this is the final area before, you know, the nice looking area, and it's called the Essence Reserves. If you decide to just run your way through it, it is not a hard place. Oh my god, would you not be a moron, Wolf? Nice hits, jerky. Okay, 
He's got better stats than I do, but I still managed to get the kill on him. Um, that hurt like hell. We are low on HP. So we're gonna have to play smart from here on out. With that in mind, let us meditate on this issue for a moment, because we have two attribute points. Uh, let's put those two attribute points into dexterity, which gives us a full point of damage. You know what? That ain't worth it. That just ain't worth it. Uh, let's get some stamina for the first time in a long time. You know, it's a little tough, actually. I don't know where to put this. We'll put it into will for now. I like having a lot of shard points. Ten should be more than enough. Let's keep going. So we're going to try to get through this entire area uh, while fighting. And if we can do that, then I'll feel pretty accomplished for having gotten through a gauntlet section in this game. You are not... You are not going to kill me. How many more whooshes do you need? Yeah, you're dead. Nice. You know what, for a second there, I thought that I was gonna have a snowball's chance in hell of actually doing something useful and all that, but I suppose it was um, a little short-sighted of me to think that I'd be able to get through that fight unscathed. We got two more here. One of these guys is a Windfall Master. We're gonna want to cheese that. Let's cheese her instead. Now she faints, which is practically unfair in every single way. And she has fast attacks. Okay, I don't have any stamina, so back off. All right, and let's go for it. Good dodge. Backing off. Nice. Okay, we still don't have a lot of stamina, but we can get it back fairly quickly. Nope, back off. I would rather have my stamina back than I have to deal with you. Oh! Oh! Nice! Not bad at all. Good reads overall. Got in a couple good kicks, got a couple good licks. Okay, managed to take one dumb hit there. Gotta read his deck better. Gotta read this guy's deck better. Like that. That was really good. We managed to take like zero damage. Get a good dodge off and a couple of really good kicks. Fantastic. We're almost at full life again, so we've managed to kind of come back into this, which is nice. All right. Let's head up this way. Okay, we got another challenger here. That's fine. I don't mind. Oh, it's a person. Never mind. Hello, Klaus Schmidt. Hope you don't mind if I just leave you the heck alone. <laughs> I don't want to touch you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Seems like everybody's entered the area again. That is the nature of... Of internet, I suppose. Actually, speaking of internet, hold on. Just a ticket. Wait, we cannot hold on a ticket. I'm being smacked. Ah! Okay. Here I was, trying to be spiffy. Oh, right when I was going to kick you off the edge like that. Okay. Nice level up, me. I was going to say, I forgot that my, uh, my computer decided to revert back to having a Wi-Fi connection. Here, you know what? Hold on one second. I do want to show you guys this mask because it does look pretty sweet. And it's an easily available lightweight kind of mask. Look at that. With the scarf, I look like a flippin' badass. But, you know, I'm a bulletkin, so. Oh, speaking of which, since we got a red-colored bulletkin, uh, like, kind of helmet, let's go for, like, a rusty-colored kind of red armband. That just makes sense, right? Look at that. I think I look pretty dope. Oh, uh... Hi there, friends. There's a lot of you. Don't mind if I just... Yeah, elbow smack you in the face. Okay, who's next? Is it you? Ow. Hold on. Come into my parlor, fellas. You're not, uh... You're not having any of my shit, huh? 
Oh, now you are, now you are, now you are. Nice, we got one. Didn't die to the other one. Hello. So, you can kind of get through this area really easily if you just focus on your environment is the main thing. As long as you focus on the environment, you end up having a usually good time. Thank you, ally. Thank you, friendly face. Got some more shoes. Thank you very much. Have a have a yes emote. Have two yes emotes. Have a bend emote. Have a victory jump emote. That's my way of saying thank you. I do all four of those emotes every single time. <laughs> Alright, and then this should be the last area. If there's no one up here, then we're free and clear. Great stuff! We are 100% in the free and the clear. This is great. Is there anything in these pots? Nope. I was right in my earlier assessment. There is nothing else to pot here. Okay. Well, that was fun. I enjoyed the climb. And admittedly, I think I'm getting better at it. Most of when I first started, and I like even before, like even after I got my first uh, character through that area, those guys continuously kicked me in the face. I really feel like I've gotten better at this game, which is a nice feeling. Even though this character looks a lot like my regular character now. It's a bit of a weird situation, if I'm being completely honest with you. But it's a nice area. You got this, like, super dead tree here that was supposed to symbolize, like, you know, the Empire or whatever is my guess. Because it's so centrally placed. And you've got this. And this is a beautiful building. In fact, in the PvP matchups, you actually get to fight in here on that staircase you see all the way down there. And yes, there are some broken railings so you can knock people off. It pisses the crap out of some people, but, uh... Admittedly, I think it makes it pretty tense, because if you're willing to, you can attempt to fight people in those areas, and as a result, having spatial awareness is an important and interesting skill to have uh, in those fights. And then you got this. Those crystals are the same crystals that you find on my belt. And this place is obviously forced to, like, supposed to signal, uh, symbolize, you know, where the essence came from. Now, I can't help but draw a slight parallel to Journey here. I really feel like... Journey could have led to this somehow. There's enough scarves. <laughs> but, uh... The only reason I make that link is because the composer for Journey was the same composer who did this game, so... Uber Shy Guy has entered the area. Now, you might be really thinking, wow, that's a really big, long wind-up. You must be ready to fight a boss or something big. I'm like, yeah, man. There it is, right there. I quickly just swap around a couple of things on my computer. Don't mind me. Um, the main thing about this game that I find absolutely fascinating is that it gives you this incredibly interesting looking place to explore, right? Like. You have to admit, this place is really cool to look at. But the longer you look at it, the more you realize that it's a little... Well, this is it. This is the last boss. When... When the people from Slow Clap, the developers, told, like, left in the beta package for the people that were going to stream this game before it came out. So, um, you know, take your time with it. They effectively just wanted you to kind of pad the game a little. <laughs> this this flippin' face, man. Um, and that's that's a bit of a shame, considering how well they've done with the stuff that they've got here. It's yeah, we're, we'll talk more about that in a second. But we've got a we've got an end game boss to fight here. So the reason why the mask is significant is because so long as you're wearing it, 
you cannot die. You will not be hungry, you will not be thirsty, you will not be sleepy, and if you die, you are respawned. This is the first time in the game where someone rips off a mask and then actually straight up kills somebody. Which then makes you wonder, what did I do to the twins? Did I fold them somehow? Did I kill them? I don't know. Alright, so this is our last our last task to kill. Good start. Back off. No need to go two knots on that. Oh! Good defensive options. Oh, body blow is amazing. Oh, that was the wrong thing to try to call to. That was also the wrong thing to try to call to. Nice back off. Let's grab a quick heal while we can. She doesn't seem to mind too much. And going for a hook punch. Good absorb. Okay, she's backing off. That's fine. See if I care. Near the face! There we go. We need to get that weapon out of her hands as fast as possible. Unfortunately, not always an easy thing to do. That's right, take a couple hits. Okay, I don't mind resetting that one. We're a little low on HP, but we can easily get it back. Nice! Okay, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. You have a heal and a little bit. Just don't lose too much HP in the interim. Now back off. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Take a run. Get into need of face stance. There we go. Okay, we got a lot of heal off of that, so that's fine, honestly. Oh, that was a long combo she had. Not a big deal, but it's a deal. Okay. We don't have enough for another heal. That's fine. She's low, though. We only need a little bit more to get that kill that we need. Hold on. Get a heal off. And near the groin. Kind of kind of getting some punches in. No, we're not done yet, Rizrin. Get out of here. Oh, you think you can have your weapon? You are so wrong. I will kill you with your own blade. Let's go! That was a cinematic kill. As far as I'm concerned. Setas Vienalalem, Nekdotem Nekas Lepard, Tan Exemparem Dural. Portes chur, exem ashlon de maler, resales metalem, ampanas. Yay, little happy musical cue, and then it dips back down. Why? You might be asking. Well.
So, how about we show you the last couple of bits of content that there are left PvE-wise. First things first, we need to get back to the Tower of Adal. To get there, let's head up here. I think it's up here anyway. I'm pretty sure it's up here. It is up here. So, that's it, really. Once you beat Rizrin, your entire task is to go back and train, whatever that means. Effectively, you max out, you get experience, you do some stuff, you punch some more people in the face, you get some more moves, and you continue to fight. The PvE parts of this game feel... painful, apparently. To the point where we literally just tripped and died? Excuse me? Can we do that again? No? Okay, so we like drop that weapon into the ether, we'll, we'll never touch that sword again. But okay. Anyway, um, once you've done that, you literally just go back into this world. And as you guys have seen, it's big, but you can run across it very fast. Now with that said, let's go ahead and do some stuff, shall we? So this is Jin Maska. He's the optional 7th marked one. Mark back, there we go. Got to get in a backward stance if you want to move backwards, and a forward stance if you want to move forward. Good dodge. There we go. And he is the guy that you end up learning the majority of your drunken attacks from. He's got a ton of drunken moves. In fact, he's the marked one for the drunken style, if that makes any sense. Good body blow attack there. Nice try there, buddy. So I've spent hours fighting this guy on my uh, other character. Just learning moves. No, back off. Learning moves, doing my own thing. And eventually I ended up like collecting like four or five of his masks, which I found hilarious. Oh, give me your, give me your sword, buddy. Oh, you are not gonna live through this attack, buddy. Thank you. Oh, he even got his sweet tunic. Why don't we equip it? Uh, where do we equip it? Is it here? No, let me guess. It's here. Yeah. Sweet. It's a little broken, but I'll take it. Looks sweet and gives us even more flowy bits. <laughs> so what that just did is it opened up something in the Colosseum. Go figure, you kill a guy to open up another stone door. I'll show you what I mean. But yeah, like despite the um kind of content in this game, and let's let's face it, the PvE content is initially very compelling. As you get farther and farther into it, you realize that there's not that much of it. And it feels so good to play. Um, which is a shame, because then it's like, unless if you really love the mechanics, you're not going to get a lot out of the PvE section of things. And that's why I said at the very beginning of this, it's a third-person action fighting game. It is primarily a fighting game. But unlike most of the fighting games, the fighting game system, the combat trials, um, are, uh, are, aren't ranked yet. They apparently are being worked on and are a priority for the developers right now. But uh, right now, they're not in the game. You only have 1v1 randomized matchups. Where it tries to match you up with people who are in a similar level as you, but it's not always. Like, you end up in matches where it's like, you're level 20-something and your opponent's level 60. Okay. Oh, hi. Why are you here and why do I care? Don't mind if I just back off a little. Take a couple slashies, it's fine. I'm just using Jin Mask's sword, it's not a big deal or anything. Thank you. Okay, that took way too long. Hopefully you got less armor on you, so that way you're faster and easier to kill. I'm actually surprised the sword is still standing. Okay, so there's another guy behind this corner? Uh, wait, what? Who are you? Oh, you're a person. 
For a second there, I thought you were a bad guy, dude. I was not pleased with you. I was gonna, like, straight up smack you in the face if I could, if I had had the chance. Glad I didn't have to. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, you got the sweet, nice armor, don't you? The exact opposite of what I wanted to fight. But that's fine. I don't mind taking out some frustration on you for a minute. Okay, we don't want to go too full out here. Okay, so we got this guy following me now, which is interesting. Okay, everybody fell down. I'm not going to fall down. That doesn't seem wise. I'm going to jump down this way instead, where I don't take any damage. Then wrap around the other way, because he's this way, right. Uh, hold on. Let me target a man. Thank you. Almost there. We got three of us in the same area right now? Okay, just one left. I'm a little confused as to what just happened. But it seems as if our Absolver friend just uh, helped us out. And that the other guy just wanted to join in, which is fine. Oh, look, there's Teacher Man. Hello, Teacher Man. What's up? When the first Eurasian envoys were sent to Rasland after the downfall, the city was so destroyed that you couldn't even get through the Eurasian quarters. The first generations of envoys who started building the bridges and pathways so we could pay homage to our dead. Thanks for teaching me the lore of the game. It's a shame that it's through a text-based medium rather than showing stuff, considering that the rest of the game is very good at showing stuff. Like in the harbor area, you have that one boat that was splintered, if you remember before we made our way to the uh, marked one there. That splintered boat shows that the whatever it was that happened here, the downfall, I think they called it, that downfall... Oh, you're meditating. Okay, that explains why I can't target you. You're actually a person. Uh, that downfall that happened... Hold on. Let me just kill him. Then, you're. it's on to you next, okay? Thanks for dying. I appreciate it. Uh, like, it showed you that the, uh, downfall or whatever it was, was very, very violent. So, like, that's a really good example of show, don't tell, but that doesn't happen all the time. In fact, most of the lore is very under-described. The game developers really wanted to focus on having the interplayer interactions be the story of the game, and not the actual game have the story of the game. So what they really wanted to do was have all the rules on the card, rather than have the rules and then the cards work around and play with them. Eh, I... And I'm not sure how I feel about that. And that's a, a thing that I'll explain in just a second. Thanks for dying. I appreciate it. Anyway, so now that we're here, and, um, you know, we've talked about the story a little bit in the sense that the story itself is, like, the, the developers were like, you know what, we don't want to make a whole story. How about you be the story for us is what it feels like. And that's just me being very cynical. But cynicism's not done me that badly so far, so... Definitely stick it to this combo when we can. The lag in this area is actually incredible. Whoa, what? Did you... Thank you. Holy cow. No, the lag in this place is awful. Come on. Let's go. And I know I'm on a land connection now, so you can't give me that oh, well, maybe you should turn off your Wi-Fi. No, I, I disconnected that business a while back. A while back. Alright, so I know we got a new attack slot and everything, and it's really cool, and it's awesome, but forgive me if I don't seem like super stacked, stoked or stacked about it. So, um, here's another stone door that we have to kill a man to open. Absolver's story is kill a man to open a gate. Or kill many people to open a gate. 
that's pretty much it. That's all the developers really wanted to put into this game. And that, that, that disappoints me, if I'm going to be honest with you. And on top of that, like, they've done such a good job with the little bits that they did touch. Imagine if they just put that effort into everything. Now, this swarthy-looking gentleman is Rakio. Ho, 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 who comes here? You seem pretty square, straight, stuffy. Why so serious and so predictable? Do you hope that your enemies will die of boredom? Loosen up, learn to stagger, and you'll stumble your way to victory. Do you want a sip of that sweet, sweet medicine? And then you can join the school. That, that's how you're supposed to join the school. And you use the stagger style and the bare hands deck. And then uh, as you compete with those two options, you get more and more and more abilities and combat decks and all that stuff in order to get up to the final thing, which is a curved sword, which we already have, to be honest with you. So I'll just leave that be. And I think there's one more Cairn. The last one. Kuritz's fur. Um. Yeah. I'm not sure what else there really is to say about this crazy game. But, uh, let's, you know what, let's do one more thing. Might as well show you guys the last piece of any kind of endgame content. Now, you might have noticed that when we passed over Kuritz's instance, but, like, the boss whiteness... That boss whiteness wouldn't let us touch it until we were, like, a certain, like, combat level. Combat level depends entirely on combat trials, which are these things. Um, any PvE content past the base content, so any of the additional boss fights, are locked behind this. As well as any of the good quality gear, so the, quali so the gear that has a white aura quality behind it. And that's disappointing. Uh, to me, anyway, because I really don't feel like PvE content should be locked behind PvP stuff. If you want a PvP, PvP. If you want a PvE, PvE. Well, let's go ahead and lose badly. Now, <laughs> just in case you didn't know, I actually recorded this series once before. And unfortunately, the audio got all whacked out. And I didn't check it at first. I fixed that problem, as you can tell. But uh, in that first matchup, I actually ended up winning in this match. That I ended up having. Let's see if we can pull that off a second time. Now, here's a question. Do you block? Do you bow? I'll bow. He does bow. Okay. Hello, the Plague Doctor. What's up with you? Oh. I'll take it. So competing in PvE, PvP, sorry, does give you character experience. And it gives you those. Once you get enough of those, you go up in combat level. And if you've equipped the school's things, then you're good to go. That, that was dumb. Let's, um... I'll take that as a victory, but, like, that doesn't count, really. So let's try that again. It's funny, because I think that's the first time that's ever happened to me. Yeah, let's try that one more time. So, as you can beat in the combat trials, you actually get the ability to create schools as well. And, um... The Plague Doctor has entered the arena. You get the ability to create your own school. You get extra gear, which allows you to look cooler and choose your ability. Like, choose your wardrobe and all that stuff. And honestly, it doesn't normally take this long to find stuff, so I'm a little, um, perturbed. Can we meditate while we're doing this? We can. Sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and put another point into Dexterity and two points into Endurance. But, like, it's super worth mentioning at this point that... Like, seriously, in all honesty, this is it. You, you, like, you, you compete in combat trials and get randomized rewards, so you can get doubles of things you already have, which is embarrassing and kind of bad. Tokaga, huh? No idea why the music was all weird for a second. Hopefully it doesn't keep up, because the music in the fights is probably the best music in the game. Uh, it's gonna stay quiet, that's fine. Oh, I'll, I'll do a bow. I, I, I'm a polite man. Oh, you're doing the... The rude one. Okay, so you're the leader of a school. I can tell because of the triangle next to your face is full. Yeah, he's going to kick my ass because he's got a nice, easy to use, easy to spam ability.
Back off. Okay, that's a thing you can do. Oh, and you can lag too? Okay, cool. Don't mind if you do. Nice dodge on the body. Nice. Oh, shit. Nope. Ah, oh, good spin kick on his part. Honestly. Like, seriously, that was a good spin kick on his part. I'm a little annoyed. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. How about we come back at this? I should be able to take at least one round off of him. Yeah. I can take one round off of him. That's fine. I don't mind. And I'll do a quick heal as well. Might as well get up to full. Alright, let's see what we can do for a round two win. Nice try, buddy. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind. Take a couple punches. Nice dodge, honestly. Thanks, body block. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind putting out a shockwave. You've used three on a weapon. That you're just swinging around uselessly. That's okay. Wow. That was annoying. Okay. Maybe? Nice! We got him! That was a very lucky kill, as far as I'm concerned. Let's see if we can get a lucky uh, smack. Ooh, he's got a good... He's got a good momentum! learn a move. I will not learn it, though, because I will not be able to win enough to get the experience. Nice heals, nice heals, nice heals, nice heals! Nah, I died. Okay, that's fine. We still have a good chance at this. We still have a good chance at this. He's got double heals, so he's at least, like, level 50, I think. This is a good fight so far. Let's go. Back off, buddy. I still got your number. Nice dodge on my part, honestly. Too bad that your deck was a little predictable. Nice! We actually won. Okay. So that was a little close. That was actually an exceptional match. He wants to go again. He's level 60. He straight up quit immediately after he said ready. <laughs> I'll take it. It's fine. My little level 24 man. We're good. We only barely managed, but we're good. Anyway... I don't know why the sound's being all muted. It's very strange. I wonder if I change things on my uh, my end of things. Probably. But uh, yeah. Anyway, that's that's Absolver, really. You do combat trials. Whoa! Sound just came back big time. But like, you do combat trials. You punch things in the face, and you do that. And it is fun for what it is. 
But the combat trials legitimately only are what they are right now. There are three modes that they have locked up there that they just haven't really developed to have out yet, which is a shame. There are so many things that are really good with this game, and yet there's so much that's just off. As Judge Mathis put it, it's as deep as an ocean, but about as shallow, but about as wide as a puddle. Like, it's a tiny, tiny game. It feels like it's the mechanical core to a really good demo. And I don't want to, like, minimize the work that the people who've put into Absolver are doing here, because I put in a long amount of time into this game. These hours are not correct. I know for a fact that Slow Wolf has been playing for a while. I've been playing for well over 50 hours now. I like this game a lot. I just have to mention, for the record, that as much as I like this game, there's a lot that just isn't super fine with it yet. And with some polish, it'd be great. But as it stands right now, unless if you're really into fighting games, and I mean, you love them, is what I'm getting at here. If you are if you love fighting games, this game is perfect. It's gorgeous. It's got the longest, if not the most useless tutorial I've ever played. The vast majority of what I've learned about this game, I've learned by walking, like, walking through areas, picking up on schools, and then studying the schools decks. In particular, one dude called Grey Maiden, um, hers, his school is really, really good. Has a fantastic deck and is Windfall style. So as a result, I got to learn how to use Windfall, and that was actually a lot of fun. And that was pretty much purely because of a well-designed deck that I then used to design this one and also the one I've got on my main character. Hi there, friend. Hello. Hi. What's up? Are you just, just gonna stand there? I mean, okay. See, it's, it's been good. Latest. I could attack you, but I'm not going... Oh, unless if you're, you're taking out a marked one, I will help you. And see, this is where the game really takes form. It does feel good to help out your friend... To help out people in the world. So I'll take out Lamron. As best as I can, anyway. Admittedly, apparently I'm very bad at this video game and deserve to be hurt for it. No, I blocked that business and then I kicked you in the face for it. Gotcha. Elbow to the face. Got blocked block that. Dwit Kaji as well. What? No, you do not. Have some punches. Have some kicks. This windfall business needs to stop, though. Like, you're... You're being obnoxious, if I'm being honest with you, game. And then take out this Joker. You're good, you're good, you're good. Don't worry about it, you're cool. I'll leave you alone, though. You're, 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 you're fine on your own. You don't need me anymore. Da Daddy Wolf, Dad Wolf is gonna back off. And see, that's what I enjoy about this game. The reason why I've been playing it for 75 hours is because I get to run around and help other people play this game, hopefully in a way that's fun for them. I, I get more of a kick out of the PvE than I do out of the PvP by a long shot. And the reason why I feel like I'm having, like, I can't recommend this game to everybody is because for me at least, this game's lacking on a, on a certain amount of PvE and PvP content, but in particular because there's so much p promise in the PvP content, and, sorry, in the PvE content, that it's just, it hurts to see that this game has been taking the hit in players as it has since it was released. It's just, it's so interesting for so many reasons. It's so easy to like. And I just wish that I could like it better. But anyway, I'll probably continue playing Absolver for 10, 20, who knows how many hours. And uh, as they come out with bigger and bigger patches, I'll be sure to continue to play this and enjoy it and all that stuff. But that's Absolver as it stands right now, in a nutshell. The entire PvE experience, and a little bit of the PvP experience. Good news though, there might be an upsurge, as uh, there's been a recent tournament that was organized and then performed and everything, and it was very exciting for me to watch. And so long as the community can continue to make tournaments like that, 
and to continue to keep up passion for the game, I think that this game could actually, you know, do well for itself. But for now, that's going to do it. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this format of, uh, of coverage. As you might have noticed, all these episodes came out on the same day in one big playlist. I'm kind of taking it from the Netflix school of content creation and content release. Uh, if you like this kind of content, or the way that I've released it, do let me know. Either let me know on Twitter, where, I'm, where I am frequently. Or, uh, you know, in the comment section below in any one of the on any one of these videos or on my channel or whatever. I read every single one of them. So, uh, again, please do let me know if you like this. If you did, you can also leave a like. And if you want to see some more videos like this, do subscribe. I'll see you folks next time.